guys, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today's video is such a different setup. So today is my first video in my new apartment. I do not know what's going on. I feel an echo around me in the room. The lighting is none. Um, and yeah, so today we're going to do a get unready with me. I'm going to talk about my moving experience, what's going on with me, how videos are going to be coming forward. So I'm going to try to get everything back to normal real soon, but let's get started. Alright guys, before we get started, I'll make on this channel is cruelty free and so is everything I'm using for my skincare routine today. Oh no! I need a dry bud. So, let's go ahead and get started and hopefully this doesn't fall again because, you know, I'm just a mess lately, you guys. It's been like the past week has been the absolute, like, most traumatic. Well, not the most traumatic. It's been pretty dramatic for me. It's a huge change. I've never lived outside of North Carolina before and now I moved all the way to Florida by myself. So... Let's go ahead and take my makeup off because I just ate and I just feel like it needs to be off. So I told you guys in my root touch up video that I was moving and I told you guys on Twitter before that and it's a huge step. Ugh, as much as the stuff is taking off my eyelashes because I've never lived with myself before. Also I think this angle is like hella crooked. I don't know. But I've never lived with myself before. I lived with my parents and then I'm left there and I love Daniel and now I have my own place, and this place has no lights in it. Like, it's super, super dark all the time. This is the brightest that it gets in this apartment, um, with my two tiny little windows, and I'm having the camera against the window right now to get the most light. But even with, like, the kitchen light on right there, it's so dark in here. Like, it's super, super depressing, like, all the time. And I know Azrael's miserable to be in here with me. I am going to get Zatchel. I'm going to drive back Monday or Tuesday and get Zatchel and bring him down because apparently he's not doing too well without Azriel. Um, so I'm going to go back to North Carolina to pick up him and get them together so they can be friends. Azriel, since she's in this new apartment, I know she's like out of whack and everything. So all she wants to do is hide in, underneath the sink. Like she doesn't sleep with me anymore. She doesn't do any of this. She just stays under the kitchen sink. I have to go under there and get her out to get her to spend any time in the sunlight. And I know she's a solid black cat. She lives in the night. But, ooh, <laughs> She just is not adjusting well. It's This is day four. Um, I left Tuesday at 4 a.m. and drove down here and it is now Friday. So, it's been quite a few days. She's coming out more and more. She's not scared of the apartment now. Um, but North Carolina is so quiet, like you might hear a car from the street driving by, you might hear a siren, but there's just so much around now that we're in a city. I've never lived in a city, this is very overwhelming for me. And then I moved to Jacksonville, which every single time I want to go somewhere, it's like an interstate type deal. Like it's a big, huge road you have to go on to get anywhere. Like the only place I could go to and not hit like an interstate kind of road is Dollar General and some kind of gas station they have here called Gates. So anyways, that's the deal with that. Um, and then I had my first package delivered um, down here. Not to my apartment because my apartment's kind of sketch. Like they don't deliver pizza here after it gets slightly dark. Like it's kind of got the worst ratings around but it's what I can afford. So I had a package delivered to a house. And USPS says it's marked as delivered, but it's nowhere to be seen. I called them yesterday, and I was like, I can't find it. They're like, it was already delivered. I called them again. I'm like, can I file a claim? They're like, it was delivered three houses down from where you wanted it delivered. So I go around the entire neighborhood knocking on doors, walking around the streets like a lunatic in a place that I don't really live, and no one has it. And then I called them this morning, and they said, oh, it was delivered to the front door. So I'm thinking, because there was no signature required for this very large 22 pound package, that the UPS person saw it, saw it was a really big expensive package, and just took it. Because it was not delivered to the door, it was not delivered to the neighborhood, and I was there like two hours after it was delivered. What is the likelihood that in like a small street that someone stole the package? Like. I don't know, especially when there's a different story, like it was delivered to the front door, it was not delivered to the front door, it was delivered to the front door again. So, yeah, 
first experience in Florida. Package is stolen. A package from a brand that I could not afford to replace if they want me to pay for it. Because I can't do the video they wanted now. Um, using the product or showing off the product. So, stolen. It's been a really rough couple days on me. Like, I, today's the first day I haven't, like, burst out crying for no reason. Well, no reason. It's just a lot mentally for me. Like, I've never lived alone. My apartment is uberly dark for no apparent reason. Like, it doesn't look dark because you're against the window, but it's so dark in here. I'm gonna film. I don't know if you can see. There's like a. Okay, no, you can't. Back here is the front living room, which I put my bed in here because it's the only place with light. And then behind it, there's a half wall. And I'm gonna film back there because it's the farthest away from any noises. But like. It's so dark back there. It's so dark back there. And there's a door that's not openable. Like, it's just a really weird living situation. It's a really weird apartment. I need lamps. And I don't mean, like, two lamps. I think I need, like, eight lamps. But guess what? Lamps and everything for moving is really expensive. <laughs> like, this um, alone. Like, paying a double deposit because I have bad credit. Um, doing all this, doing all that, the $100 application fee, rent, cutting on electricity, electricity deposit, like cutting on everything, internet, having all that hooked up, plus moving expenses, like has drained me and I'm not, not <laughs> ready to buy a whole bunch of lamps. So yeah, it's just kind of a bummer. Like Florida is really pretty, don't get me wrong. I haven't seen an alligator or a crocodile yet. However, Moving across the state by yourself is super terrifying and you have no one to rely on but yourself. Like I've already been applying for jobs and stuff down here, but it's weird. It's real weird and it's not a kind of city where you can like, like New York City where you can kind of subway around and all that. This is like all interstates you have to have your car so if my car breaks down I'm screwed. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's just not as easy as a transition as I thought it was going to be. I really miss my normal life, my normal nice setup for YouTube. I miss my normal desk setup. I don't have my desk yet. It arrives tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's just my makeup is in bins right now. Like, I'll show you. Makeup is in bins and just like... It's not the greatest. It's not the greatest thing ever. So... Yeah, I'm a little bit of a mess. I will be back to normal uploads very soon. I just want to get back to normal. I want to get into a routine of being a normal YouTuber. I want to get into a routine of being okay because this has been a lot on me. I'm a person who leaves the house like once a week and I've been having to leave every day for like different errands, getting things set up, buying trash cans and paper plates and stuff. Azriel, be a lady. And Azrael's been kind of upset too, so it just, it's really hard on me, but I think it'll get better. I'm hoping. I don't have a choice. Like, I already signed the lease. I don't have a choice. It has to get better, but. Welcome to Jacksonville, Bridget. Hope you're having a traumatic experience this entire time. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you have experienced a, like, a really far move by yourself, please let me know how it was for you or if I'm just being dramatically stressed out about this. Um, because I feel like I'm not handling it very well, but I'm just sitting in an apartment alone. So, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Also, I just looked in the viewfinder. My eyes look like craziness. Like, these are my real eyes, but they look crazy against real sunlight. <laughs>